So you have that head sitting atop your shoulders right now as we speak. And as you're studying for the LSAT, it would really be great if that brain inside your head were firing on all cylinders. Well, this argument tells you that's not really the case. Rather, humans, we don't use a cool 90% of our brain, and that seems like a lot. Now, of course, the author seems very hopeful because what the author says is, look, we don't use 90%, so once we tap into that tremendous source of creativity and innovation, once we get into all that good stuff that's hiding in that 90% unused portion of our brain, well then, all of the world's problems, the big problems, hunger, AIDS in Africa, pollution, all of those things will be within our ability to solve, so great. Why are we even worrying about those problems now? Let's just wait till we get into the other, other side of the brain and then we'll all be smart enough to figure it out. Or will be. Here's the problem with this argument. The author is a little overly optimistic. The author here believes, look, we don't have to use 90% of our brains. So once we get in there, that's where we're really gonna find the good stuff. Just a tremendous source of creativity and innovation. But what you have to think to yourself is, well, are there any other possibilities for what could be in that other 90% of our brain? Because I can think of a couple. First, maybe that's like the evil side of our brain. And once we get in there, all hell will break loose. Or maybe that just keeps like our random talents. Like that's part of the brain that tells us how to like pogo stick really well or know how to weave a scarf. Or look, maybe that 90% of our brain, it's just there to fill up space because our heads would look kind of funny if they were 10 times smaller. Who knows? But the author here is making the unwarranted assumption that that 90% has some really good stuff. And so that's what we should look for in our answer.